Hello guys and welcome to the Zone of Tech. What's this? Well, this is a five-year-old device. Almost a six-year-old device. Now, uh, you may wonder why did I uh, choose to unbox this? Well, this was my first Apple device. This was the device that changed everything. This was the device that drew me into Apple. So I decided to unbox it for you guys so you could see what's inside. Okay, so before this I had a fake iPod Nano, first generation, from China. And the only original thing about it was the box, which was a, an original Apple box. So actually that was my first Apple product, but you wouldn't call a box a product. So. So I guess this was actually my uh, my first Apple device. Okay, so enough with me talking, let's uh, unbox this beauty. Now this model was released in September of 2007 and was the first iPod Nano model to feature a video playback and a radical new design. So this has the same design as the iPod Classic only in a smaller form factor. Now taking a look at the box, you can see it's really really nice design. It's a transparent look. Now uh, if we turn it to the left, we can see the uh, Apple iPod Nano written in silver which matches the color of my iPod Nano. Now on the back we have a description of uh, what we will find inside. So it says that it includes the iPod Nano, earphones, USB 2.0 cable. And uh, you need a Mac or a PC with uh, Windows Vista or later and uh, Mac OS 10.4.8 which is which is type. Now on the top of the box we have the uh, capacity which is 4 gigabytes in my case. Well, unfortunately, the uh, four gigabytes models only came in silver, and uh, the uh, colors were uh, available for the eight gigabytes models only. Now, beginning from 2008, with the uh, release of the fourth generation iPod Nanos, Apple fixed this uh, issue, so uh, you could get any color you want, regardless of the uh, capacity. Okay, so let's uh, take it out of the box. So usually you had a uh, plastic sticker on the top, but uh, since this is a uh, re-unboxing, I have removed it. And here it is, the third generation iPod Nano. All I have to say is that it looks amazing in the box. And uh, it sure looks even more amazing when it's out of the box. <laughs> Now, uh, as you can see, it's uh, fixed in this plastic thing. So all we have to do is to bend the uh, plastic shell and uh, get the iPod Nano out of it. And here it is. It's incredibly thin, as you can see. Well, I hope you can see. Now, uh, back to the box. So uh, besides the uh, iPod Nano, you also get this uh, design by Apple in California text, then uh, the uh, quick start guide this uh, tells you how to sync the iPod Nano and some uh, useful tips and tricks how to use it, how to lock the screen and so on and so forth now you also get some Apple stickers, which we all love, and of course a one year of international warranty. Now also in the box you get this uh, this adapter. Now a few years ago Apple used to sell some docks that uh, work with uh, all Apple products. So iPods, iPhones, and uh, well, that's all. Uh, so if you had a different iPod model, like uh, an iPod Nano, a smaller one, you would need this uh, adapter to stick it in the dock. Now I don't have such a dock, but uh, if I did, I would have shown you. Also in the box, you get this USB to dock connector, 
cable. As you can see, this is the uh, old model since it had uh, the uh, Apple logo on it. And what's uh, great about this is that the uh, dock connector is kind of special. So you had this uh, buttons on the side which you had to press in order to release the cable from your iPod Nano. So for example, if you stick it in, you can take it out unless you press the buttons on the side, like this. Now as I said, Apple doesn't, uh, doesn't sell those anymore. This is the uh, old 2007 cable model. Now back to the uh, iPod Nano. Now the iPod Nano also features this uh, touch sensitive click wheel which lets you navigate through the uh, menu with ease. You can press the uh, menu button, the uh, next song or fast forward button, the previous song, the uh, center button and the play and pause button. Now on the sides you have no buttons at all. Same goes for the top. Taking a look at the bottom you get this uh, 3.5 millimeters headphone jack, the uh, 30 pin dock connector and uh, this uh, hold or lock switch which uh, turns orange when the iPod Nano is locked. Like this. Now this is the uh, thinnest Apple device that I own. It's uh, thinner than the iPad 2 which is a lot thinner than the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S. Okay guys so thank you for watching this video. Please give me a like, favorite this video, comment and uh, also subscribe because at the moment I have no subscribers at all and uh, I've been working extremely hard on making these videos for you and uh, it would be really appreciated for you to subscribe. So thank you again for watching and uh, we'll meet again in the next video. Thanks.